Hey guys, you're watching Kitty Crafts. So Valentine's Day is tomorrow. And if you're like me and have absolutely no plans whatsoever, then here are some really easy DIY gifts that you can make for yourself, or I mean your Valentine, who may or may not be yourself. These are really simple to make. They only took one day to do. I did them all really quickly. If you do recreate anything from this video, please tag me at Kitty Crafts so that I can see what you guys created and let's get started. Here's a gift for anyone who likes pets or is a fan of Stardew Valley. To make the sprites, I'm using mini beads and these are ArtCal C series mini beads and I have links in the description if you want to check them out. Once the sprites are done, I'm using the tape method to get all of the beads off of the board. This is just scotch tape. I find that it's easier to work with this kind of tape because it's not that sticky on the mini beads and it's a lot easier to control when placing them on. Do a little flip. I'm using ironing film instead of ironing paper so that I can get a nice shiny finish on top. Heat setting is on the lowest for my iron and I just keep going until I don't see any lines in between the beads and I can still see the holes. Do a little flip again and take off all of the tape. And iron the other side. Place a heavy book on top of the sprites as they cool so that they will stay flat. Now that they're all done, both sides of the sprites have this beautiful shiny finish to them. For the canvases, I found this wooden heart at my craft store, or maybe you can find them at the craft section of a department store. And I also found this mini canvas with an easel at the dollar store. They're the perfect size for mini bead sprites, and I painted the heart canvas a bright red and the mini canvas a metallic blue. After the paint dries, the mini bead sprites can be glued onto the canvases with hot glue or super glue, and these pieces are ready to go to a new home. For those who love reading and gaming, here's how to make a Minecraft health bar bookmark. Usually I try my best not to over iron any of my bead sprites, but since this is a bookmark that needs to be really thin, I just kept ironing until it could be as flat as possible. Mm -hmm. 
I've actually never ironed any of my bead sprites this flat. This was as far as I could go and the shiny finish on it looks really cool. It's like a beautiful glossed health bar and it's bendy too. Now whoever gets this cute gift will never lose track of what chapter they were on. Next up, you can make some DIY cards to show your love and appreciation for someone. I made a few axolotl figures in my last video, so you should definitely check that out if you haven't seen it. I looked through the comments and you guys don't axolotl questions, but somebody asked if I could make the axolotl in a bucket sprite. So here it is, this cute little pink axolotl chilling in its bucket. With the bead sprites done, it's time to make the cards and I'm using some cardstock that I folded in half hot dog style and I cut these into three different pieces. Lots of space on the inside to write messages, but on the outside of each card, there's a unique message that goes with each of the sprites. For the Pokeball, of course, it's I choose you. For our little axolotl sprite, it's love you a lotl, XO XO Gossip Girl. And lastly, for any miners out there, I made a card that says be mine valentine featuring a diamond pickaxe. And that is how you make three different Valentine's Day cards, or they could be used for any special occasion, and you can write stuff inside, perfect for showing your love. Light up your true love's life with some rainbow heart string lights. Got my tape square on top of the beads to help me take them off of the pegboard. Flip it over. And to iron, I'm just using ironing paper or parchment paper so that it will have a matte finish. These hearts are ready to be attached to the string lights that I found at the dollar store. I'm using tape to attach the lights to the hearts just so that I can have it on there temporarily. If you want it to be permanent, it's probably better to use a wire, some string, or maybe even glue the lights on. I recommend using translucent beads if you want a cooler effect when it's completely dark, but with a little bit of light, these hearts are very cute and are a great addition to any room. 
Thank you guys so much for watching and making it all the way to the end. Love you guys a lot. -le. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Check out some of my other socials in the description below, and I'll see you guys next time with another cutie craft. Bye!